camera versus small camera. In street photography, what camera size will make you invisible in street photography? Let's discuss about this now. Hi there and welcome to my channel. My name is Tudor Matescu and I like street photography with all kinds of camera gear and all kinds of lenses. And I want to share with you my experience regarding big camera versus small camera. What camera size will make you invisible, unobserved in street photography? So if you are liking content like this, please subscribe now, now, now to my channel and let's get to the subject. By the way, the B-roll camera, it's Fujifilm X Pro 3 with Sigma 30mm f1.4 lens on AF. So if you are interested about Sigma 30mm f1.4 on Fujifilm, check my review regarding that lens, link in the card here. The first thing that I want to address is the fact that I like small cameras because they are easy to carry and the best camera is the camera that you have on you. So it's very important to have a camera on you. But the second reason, as we all know, is the fact that yes, the street photography masters always advised carry with you a small camera because that camera will make you invisible. But my findings are a little different after years and years of street photography. So yes, I like small cameras for these two reasons but i don't feel but i don't feel that a small camera will make you invisible so recently i've decided to do some street photography with sony a7 rc and samyang 50 mm f 1.4 lens a full frame 50 mm field of view lens and body so i've made a review regarding samyang 15 mm f 1.4 and why I was interested regarding this lens, it's because it's the lightest and smallest full frame 50mm f1.4 lens with AF on a Sony system. Check my review regarding Samyang and how it's focusing on Sony here, link in the card. So, I've used this combo on the streets and the experience shocked me in a good way, shocked me in a good way. I was very invisible, I was very, very invisible and uh, the pictures that I've got were very, very good and when I wasn't invisible, also I've got excellent interactions and I want to share with you now my experience regarding how I've said small camera versus big camera, real world experience regarding these two cameras. So after years of using small cameras and after some time of using big cameras, I feel that um, the popular belief that a bigger camera will make you invisible, it's totally wrong. And I will explain why now. So when you are carrying with you a bigger camera, the subjects that will observe you will believe that you are a professional photographer and you will have interactions, positive interactions with your subjects because the big camera will offer you authority. And uh, this is very important and it's not about that. We must have in mind that Bresson and other masters and other street photography masters were paid press photographers. They were making photos, having the press badge. They were observed by the people, but they were accepted as photographers because they were considered professional photographers. And if you'll read the Bresson writings, you'll find out that when he went to China, he always asked permissions to do photography there and also in India and so on and so on and so on. So the camera and the press badge give Bresson authority and this is what a big camera it's helping you to get authority when you will photograph with a small camera and when you feel that anxiety you will not have authority and a small camera will not help you get it will not help you get it I know it's all about appearance and this will take me to a very very important point that I will discuss a little later so 
A small camera will not give you authority when you aren't confident about you, when you feel anxiety. You'll feel like a thief, like a thief that it's stalling some moments. And I don't know if this bad energy, if this low energy will help you get the shots that you want. So my experience when using a bigger camera was very, very positive, was very, very positive. When I wanted an interaction and when I wanted a portrait, I had no problems. But when I'm going to do some uh, street portraits with a small camera, it's not working like it works with a bigger camera. A bigger camera, a looking professional camera will help you get that authority, will help you get the trust of your subject. And this is important. But again, it's not just about that. And now let's look at some pictures made with this small camera. So now let's look at some pictures made with the bigger camera. And now this is taking me to the last and most crucial point. Mojones, believe in yourself and trust in yourself. It's all in your head. It's all in your head. It's not about big camera versus small camera. It's all in your head. I've made several tests, several experiences in uh, street photography with my cameras. But I also tried street photography with a mobile phone. And in that day, I felt very anxious, very stressed. And I was observed with a mobile phone. Everybody's doing pictures with a mobile phone. But because of my anxiety, because of my bad energy, the subjects were uh, observing me and uh, they were looking ugly at me. So this is very important. It's not about big camera versus small camera. It's all about your modulus it's all about your confidence it's all about not having anxiety and uh, you will be able to do very very good pictures with any camera size so a smaller camera will not make you invisible this is the point where i want to get a smaller camera will not make you invisible the only advantage of a smaller camera is the fact that it's helping you take it with you more often than a big camera and again talking about invisibility and uh, believing yourself and getting the trust of your um, subject if you want to interact with your subjects i feel again that yes a bigger camera will open more doors to you this is what happened in my case so yes i was very shocked when seeing no it's not the camera i was able to shoot with this camera on the streets at events or at uh, photo works like i'm shooting with a smaller camera this big camera wasn't making me more invisible or more visible than this camera it's all about what is happening inside your head it's all about your modulus your desire and your joy of doing photography if you feel anxiety if you are feeling stressed then yes you can use any camera and even a mobile phone but your bad energy your bad thoughts will reflect in your eyes and in your photography and you'll be filled by the people that are around you 
So yes, it's not about the size of the camera. You can use any camera. It's all about getting it right in your head. It's all about getting that module working. It's all about trust in yourself and feel good about what you are doing. And when you will feel good about what you are doing, you can use any camera size. You'll get excellent results and you will be visible or invisible depending on what you want and depending on your skill. So yes, yes, it's not about camera size and it's not about gear when it's about the skills. So check my video regarding why gear matters, by the way, link in the card in some situations, of course. And by the way, tell me how Sigma 30 mm f1.4 focused on this video. Please subscribe now, now, now to my video and uh, talk to you soon. Thank you and bye bye.